There are two objectives of this video. First, demystifying the AI agents and secondly, to show you the most easy way of creating these AI agents. So first, let me describe in very simple words at what exactly is meant by all of these AI agents. Just suppose you are talking with any large language model such as ChatGPT. You are talking about a specific topic and you are asking it a question, then ChatGPT is giving you a generic answer. Then you ask more specific questions. For example, you ask it about an investment in stock market in Australia. So you ask it a question that what would be the good investment in which stocks should you be investing? And ChatGPT is going to answer you generically that, okay, these are maybe uh, the top 100 companies or these are the industries. And then you just keep drilling down onto the industry or to the different types of investments. So you, the idea here is that you keep asking it questions again and again and again, and then you get the relevant answer out of it. Or for example, you want to research about some topic so you want to first research about it, then you after the research, you want to compile all of that data and then you want to create a report out of it. You can do this by using any model, but you would have to do a lot of manual work here. You would have to maybe talk with different models who do different sort of tasks or you would have to talk to same model, but you have to keep asking it for maybe hours and hours to get the right data and then you have to compile it by using maybe another model or the same model. So instead of you doing it, we can use AI agents or a specific set of commands or software in order to do all of that stuff for you. All you need to do is to just give a natural language text, a prompt that I want this. And then how the AI does it is the job of AI agents. Behind the scene, tools like Crew AI and there are heaps of others now, they create these agents out of your natural language text prompt and then out of those agents, they orchestrate them or in other words, they just make them work together to get you the desired output. That is the whole purpose of this AI agents or agentic software, nothing else. So the job of AI agents is to make your life easier. For example, if you have a workflow in your company where specific set of structure passes through different stages with the help of AI agents you can streamline it we are going to see one such workflow we will get it installed after creating AI agents locally and then we will see how it works the most easy way of creating a agent as of today is crew AI what happens tomorrow i don't know things are changing so fast in ai but as of today crew ai is one of the easiest way of creating these ai agents and to orchestrate them in order to use crew ai all you need to do is to remember three ideas first you define an agent agent would be the role which you want the agent to play you want it to play a researcher role an editor role a player role or whatever role you wanted to play that is your agent then what you want agent to do that is called as task and thirdly when you combine these agents and tasks together that is called as a crew or your team so let's go to my local system and then first we are going to install this crew ai locally and then we are going to create some agents their tasks and then we will create a whole crew and then we will kick it off so let me take you to my local system where I am running Ubuntu 22.04. I have one GPU card of 22 GB of VRAM. Let me clear the screen. Also, I would highly suggest that you install Conda, which will keep everything separate, nice and clean. I already have it. Let me clear the screen. First step, let's create a Conda environment. I'm just calling it Crew AI. It is going to install all the prerequisites there. For the Conda, just press Y and it is going to install everything nice and clean. That is done. Let's activate Crew AI and you will see it in the parenthesis on the left hand side. Let's clear the screen. Now, in the next step, I would highly suggest that first up you go to platform.openai.com and grab your OpenAI's API key. 
you can also use screw ai with olama and i will show it to you in the next video but for this one just to set the sta stage and just to show you how this thing works i'm going to just go with open ai's api key so let me put in my open ai's api key and then i will clear the screen i have set my key next step let's install crew ai with the help of pip crew ai tools and langchain community you might not need for these for this demo but it's always good idea to get them installed so let's wait for it to finish so crew ai is installed now let me clear the screen and now let's fire up our python interpreter where we will be looking at how to create the agents and ask and knit them together first let's import these warnings just to suppress the warning so that everything remain clear and then let's import our agent task and crew module from crew ai let's press enter here and that is done and now let's define our agent and this is how you define the agent all i am doing here is i am just giving the name of the agent legal research agent and then i'm calling the agent module the role is of legal research specialist and i'm just giving a context of this role that this provides accurate and relevant legal information and then some of the backstory that okay so this is a goal and the backstory is that you work at a law firm and are tasked with um, conducting research for a case involving topic and this is a topic i will be passing it and your expertise will help the legal team build a strong argument and then I, I don't want it to give this task to anyone else and then i'm just keeping verbose true so that we would know what exactly this agent is doing so what we are trying to do is we are creating an agent who is a legal research specialist let's define another agent this next agent is a legal writer agent and i have given it a role of legal document drafter and the goal is to craft clear and persuasive legal documents and the context or backstory around it that you are a legal writer responsible for drafting a legal brief on whatever topic we will pass it for an upcoming court case your document must be well researched concise and compelling so we have defined two agents here and we have given them very concise clear specific roles let's define the tasks for both of these so for first one for legal research specialist let's define this task in this task the name is conduct legal research and then this is a description this is what we need uh, it to do investigate relevant laws analyze legal articles journals and expert opinions and then we are also telling it that expected out should output should be a comprehensive legal research report including relevant sources and key points and then this is the agent it should be using how good is that and then uh, i think i have pasted it two times let me cancel it and then properly paste it okay that's probably the python formatting anyway that is fine so we have defined this task let's define another task this task is for the second agent who is a legal writer agent and we are giving it a description that this is what it needs to do and this is the ex uh, output we, which we expect from it that is also done and then we just need to define our agents and their task and we need to build a crew and this is all you need to do that we are calling the crew function these are our two agents and these are their tasks and it they, it just conducts and carries them out sequentially and we are specifying the verbus as true now in order to start it all you need to do is to run this command where we are kicking off the crew and this is what it, we wanted to do employment law and discrimination you can just put in your uh, whatever topic you want so let me run it so as soon as i have run it you see that it has started working the working agent the first one legal research spe specialist that was the name of it and this is its task it is an analyzing legal article it is, it is identifying key points and arguments and then it is organizing this is what we told him to do now if you think about it whatever process of workflow you have in your company it must have some steps you can just define those steps and then 
create an agent out of it define its task combine them together put them in a crew and then kick off the crew and it is going to do everything for you so behind the scene all we are doing it we are properly formatting our prompts confining the output of llm and making sure that llm remains confined to that domain and then we are generating the output that is all we are doing with the help of these agents we are orchestrating them so once one agent is done it is going the next agent will come if you put the offload true it is going to offload it to the next agent and then you can even quality check it this is how it works so because it creates a chain as you can say here the crew agent executor chain this is the second one and it will go on and on and on and by the way because i'm using open ai and if you are also using it be aware of uh, the build cost because if you do it too much because it is all, all it is doing it is making api call going through the documents so it could go quite expensive pretty rapidly so if that is what you are trying to do in your own production environment i would highly suggest that instead of an api based llm you go with the local hosted olama one or any uh, other model and i will also show you in the next video how to do it anyway there you go so it's all done and it has produced the brief for us there you go this is a finished chain and this is the uh, output of the last agent legal document drafter and the topic was this and it has presented us the legal brief you don't need any paralegal all was done by this awesome model and you have everything here and also the conclusion so amazing amazing stuff so this is how easy it is to build AI agents with crew AI. I think this is one of the most easiest thing I could find. All we are doing it agent, task, and crew. And that's about it. So that's it, guys. I will drop the link to its repo in video's description. Play around with it. Let me know what do you think. I will also put all of this code in my blog and I will drop the link in video's description. Enjoy it. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.